welcome back to Red Thread Art. First things first, subscribe to the channel. Now, look what we have for you today. A little castagnetta made from recycled materials. And look, if you look at this one, it's all spotty and it's eaten a birdie. <coughs> anyway, that's me messing around. Bit of fun. Uh, we're going to go make one. So what you'll need is, as you might be able to guess, is some bottle tops, some glue, some paint, some googly eyes and some cardboard. So I'm going to begin by cutting my cardboard. Let's make some space so you can see. Let's see. Oh, this is such a big piece of card, it's really hard to cut. So I'm going to cut it down. Cut, cut, cut. There we go, a bit more manageable. Now, my one, it's not an exact size, it doesn't have to be exact measurements, but after some fiddling, this is a size that we like, which is roughly, if you really want to know, because I know sometimes it helps, ours is about 16, 8, 17 centimetres and about 3 centimetres wide, and it's just a, a rough idea really. So what you'll need is you need to start painting. So I'm going to get some really bright colours. Love this paint. Look at that. And we're going to apply it really thickly. And then once it's dry, you can add some details like the spots on this one. You might want to, depending on your paint, add a second layer. If you're using acrylics, usually one layer is enough. So just paint that like that. Um, but some other paints like um, this one depends really sometimes depending on the material sometimes I need two layers sometimes I don't and I think with the cardboard um, two work quite well but actually if you look it does look quite neat doesn't it so you probably will be okay with just the one so let that dry and once that's dried you can add some details like this one look at that here's one I made earlier surprise surprise so let it dry and then I use my really bright paint and really thickly put on um, some lovely stripes then you have to find roughly the middle and fold it in half like this. Although if you want you can glue these on first and then fold them in half, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to glue them on now. So because I said these are little monsters who are eating little birdies, it's in their mouth. I'm going to put the bird one there and the plain one there. But to be honest it all depends on what bottle tops you have. So get some glue. I use this glue called Anita's Tacky Glue. It's really really good PVA glue. And it sticks really well. You do have to let it dry though for I don't know, at least a good half hour, um, but it works. You could also use a hot glue gun, depending on if you're doing this in the classroom and the age of your of the children. If you're doing this with kids, that is obviously. If you're doing it for yourself, you choose. But the hot glue gun works really well as well. Put it all over. Get some more glue. That. Nice and thick. I stick it away. And then let that dry. Push it down nice and sort of strong. And then once it's dry, to be honest, I can turn it around because it's just going to dry that way. I'm also going to stick the googly eyes on. Some googly eyes are self adhesive, but to be honest, I always use um, a bit of glue because it just sticks better. To make my little monster or crocodile or I don't know what we want to call it. Here we go. And if you want, you can then add little nostrils, you know, a little detail, and your castanette. Dun, 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 dun. It's finished! Ta da! So we let this dry, and then we have two castanets to get to play with. Now, I hope you like that super duper quick little craft. So much fun! And hope to see you here again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheerio. Bye.